Today I found out some horrible news. I was practicing and ready for the Los Angeles Lakers tonight, but the Bulls organization had a scheduled mix-up and it turns out that today we're versing the Memphis Grizzlies. We're going to be playing the Lakers in a couple of days. And I'm telling you, I was ready to verse Kobe today. So the Memphis Grizzlies are going to be playing a very, very well-practiced and ready-to-go Brown Mamba. The Lakers, you're next. And if you're watching this, Kobe, expect greatness. Yo, what up, guys? STG Sub the Gamer. You know how it is. We're playing on Hall of Fame. I proved it in the beginning of the video, and I'm going to prove it at the end of the video. I don't play on Pro, yo. This is old Hall of Fame. But anyways, when I found out that I was going to verse the Grizzlies, at first, I was kind of pissed off. I practiced so hard, got my jump shot cashed, as you can see right there, and I was just ready to verse the Black Mamba for the second time this season. Of course, as a well-improved player now, but of course, I had to verse the Grizzlies. And I know Kobe's watching this game, so I made sure that I played my heart out. So when I verse the Lakers in the coming days, I gotta do some work. Right there, we found Derrick Rose with a nice three-pointer. He's always going to do work right here. Derrick Rose passes me the ball. He sets me a nice screen. I see him cutting, so we're going to get that nice lip. You know how it is, just like in Madison Square Garden. When I see Derrick Rose cutting, I'm going to give him that ball. But anyways, check this posterizing dunk over Marcus Saul. Let's check it out one more time. Bam. But anyways, so of of course, as I got more time in this game, in this league, my GM started respecting me more. So I was given an opportunity to give my input on some trade opportunities I would love to do with the Chicago Bulls team. Now there are a couple of players I'd love to have on this team. Number one, I would love to have Josh Smith. He's a step up from Carlos Boozer. Heck, Boozer's injured right now, so Josh Smith would be very good. Also. Andrew Bynum. Now this guy is a great center. I have much respect for Joakim Noah, but the way Joakim Noah is playing is fantastic. So if I can get the second best center in the league, give them, you know, some good draft picks, Joakim Noah, I would be happy to get Andrew Bynum. He might be overweight, but I think me and Derrick Rose can work with him. But check out that windmill jam over the Memphis Grizzlies at home, staring at the ref, staring at the crowds. This is for Kobe to prove that there's a brand new Mamba in town. Second quarter got 20 points and I'm going to dot that eye of course. This game is so well in my 3 point shot right here. My players are just feeding me. They're giving me good screens as you can see right here. I see him cutting but I'm still going to take it. I'm going to ask for another screen of course but I do get double team. Get the ball back from Muhammad and I'm going to take it to the rim with that nice dunk. Now I'm not going to lie. When I first started playing Hall of Fame in this game, I thought it was the hardest thing ever. The computer always made their shots, and I always missed my shots. Turnovers were so easy to get, they still are. And if you are playing on a pro and you transition to Hall of Fame, expect a lot more turnovers. When you play pro, I'm not gonna lie, I play pro in my rookie showcase. I don't give a crap, I play pro in my rookie showcase. But of course, I evolved, started getting good at this game, and learned how everything works. And I just get past the defenders with that nice windmill jam again. But like I said, Hall of Fame is a big step up. You gotta make your passes precise, because turnovers are so easy to get in Hall of Fame, and they can definitely destroy your grade, big time. But back to the gameplay, this quarter is about to end, so we get a nice screen from Nate Robinson, and we dot that eye with a nice 3 for 32 points. The second quarter isn't over yet, it's about to end, but we get a nice spin move, Shimmy Shammy with that nice layup to go, right there, 34 points, and the quarter is just done. Third quarter starts right here, of course I'm going to try getting a screen from Derrick Rose, it's not working out, I get double teamed, but I find him for 3, and he's going to dot that eye for sure. Derrick Rose, much improved 3 point shot for me right now, he's cutting and he's shooting. Derrick Rose is having a spectacular game right now for me. This whole entire Bulls team is doing work, and I'm going to shoot that three in all these people's eyes. We dot in that eye. Now, real talk, I have been getting a lot of comments asking me, Yo, Sub, where are the videos? Where are the videos, by the way? Check out that nice spin move layup. But, yo, where are the videos? I remember two months ago, it would be at least two videos every single day in the summer. 
Yo, winter break for me starts in two weeks. And I'm telling you, I get a whole month off. So if I don't make at least two videos in a day, something's messed up, yo. Because I'm definitely going to be stepping up my game for YouTube. I'm not going to lie, college is a lot harder than I expected. But we got to do work. And we got to step up with time management. So expect more videos this week as well. But by the way, we still on tempo with that three-point shot. This is the proof Kobe wrong. 46 points. Get that foul. Three free throws. We're going to nail every single one of them. Get the ball with 49 points. Ask for a nice screen. Dot that eye. Bam. Good job, Rip Hamilton. If you want to start making threes in this game as consistently as I'm doing right now, you want to ask your players to set you screens. You get the open jump shot. Also, you want to make sure what you do is for your signature skills. You want to have maybe dead eye or something mi microwave. You know, something that's going to make your three-point shot better. Of course, a high three-point rating works. But of course, signature skills also helps with that you want to make sure you do that also you have to know when to shoot the threes you can't just jack it up all the time because you're gonna start missing and as you can see right here we pass through all the defenders and get that dunk but I do have a couple of tutorials on YouTube on how to improve your three-point shot so if you want to shoot threes consistently in games I advise watching that video because that's definitely gonna help you implement to make more threes not only in quick games but also in my player. Now let's start talking about this patch. We all know that 2K13 made a brand new patch and I really wanted to make a video about it, but I had a test the next day, so of course I had to work on that. But yo, one thing I noticed, honestly in my opinion, everything's still the same except one major thing. And this is the foul frequency. I've noticed that you click X, most of the time it's gonna be a foul. And check out this vertical on this dunk. We get past the double team, and we get that crazy 35 point inch vertical that's the highest I've ever got but anyways the follow frequency in my opinion for 2k13 is very high you click X and it's definitely gonna be a foul unless you're like Chris Paul but seriously that's getting kind of frustrating in the comments down below if you're getting the same problem as me you know you're getting a lot of foul calls let me know in the comments down below but yo check out this and one by the brown mamba of course we're making this free throw we're at 73 points now 74 and only one thing is going in my mind right now we gotta break the record we gotta break kobe's record of 81 points just got 77 getting a nice screen from kirk heinrich i see him cutting but of course i gotta chase that record we get a nice screen we taking it all the way with that nice layup it's almost there 79 points but 79 is not enough we gotta get some defensive plays too we gotta get something crazy we gotta get the crowd on their feet one last time before we break the record so i'm playing some good d they want to score get the heck out of here check out the best block in 2k13 by the brown mamba throws the ball into the 300 levels of the crowd he just got rejected let's go and now it's time get a nice green we're gonna dot that eye and people we have just set a record in NBA history getting the second highest performance in an NBA game of 84 points along with that we've got a couple of assists got a couple of steals and got a couple of rebounds I practiced hard today because I wanted to verse the black mama Kobe Bryant I feel bad for the Grizzlies because they had to deal with what I was practicing for but this just pumps me up even more to verse Kobe Bryant Dwight Howard, Steve Nash, and the Los Angeles Lakers in my next game at Chicago. It's crazy. I remember being in my first rookie showcase before getting drafted to the NBA. And now, getting over 60% field goal shots, dotting that eye, taking it to the rim with ease. Getting past the defenders, going up against players like LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, once again, this is Hall of Fame. It's crazy how fast time flies, we're approaching the All-Star Weekend, but we got one thing that blocks my way from having a blast at All-Star Weekend, and that's Kobe Bryant, Dwight Howard, and the Los Angeles Lakers. If you enjoyed this video, 
please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I promise I'm going to be more consistent. Thanks for watching this video, guys. That's CG Sub the Gamer. Have a good one. Peace.